What is your name? Amachi. Who name? Okay. Oh. You are Mr. Ibu's daughter? Yes. Okay. Um, briefly, can you share with us um, your relationship with your dad uh, when he was alive? Okay. I will, I'm his first daughter. Okay. So we, we had a lot of you know, moments together, but I didn't get to meet him in person until he was sick when I got to the hospital. That was the first and the last time we got to see each other. So that's the only thing I can tell you about him for now. First time and the last time you saw him? Yeah. Okay, uh, the moment you saw him. Oh, wow. So the first time you saw him, uh, how do you feel? I mean, meeting him for the first time. Yeah, meeting him for the first time, and on a sick bed, it was so frustrating. So it's not something I love talking about. I just have to accept everything that I've seen. Yeah. 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 So sorry about the love. So sorry about the love. So now that it's no more, what, I mean, uh, what do you think is going to be? I mean, your your feelings about his demise. But I'm not happy that he didn't get to know me well. He didn't get to show that father and daughter relationship very well. But I'm sure wherever he is now, he'll be happy that I'm here to support today's occasion. Mm. Right. So sorry about that. Now wow. Now wow, now wow, now wow for go. Now wow. Hey God, 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 God. What you will judge in this life, eh? What you will judge, God of mercy, what you are going to judge, plenty injustice against children that never begged to be born, that never begged to be, to be in this world. Somebody will just go and bring out someone that is sleeping somewhere to just come and stress that person for nothing. Imagine that your first child, you did not give her the opportunity to be with you, to feel that fatherly love and fatherly affection. Your first daughter, she was able to see you as in the first and the last time she saw you was on your sick bed. Hey, I can't, I don't know how, when you talk, people will be like, some of you men have really committed a lot. Oh, now don't really commit a lot. Like, how, how do you feel comfortable, feel happy, moving on with your life, enjoying your life, living your life without your child? And you know very, very well that you have a child somewhere. Still, when I go relax, when I they enjoy. When they do everything now, the man don't buy the girl, don't still come to show her last respect for a father that was never there for her, for a father that does not know that she existed in this life. Hey, God of mercy, God of mercy. This one is because the man don't buy you. Had he been at the man day alive, any day this girl is getting married now, you see. Everybody, they'll be like, go and give your father respect. Go and... When we, that's why anytime we talk about deadbeat fathers, some fathers will come, they will rush you because they know most of them are deadbeats. They will rush you, they will attack you, they will not allow you to talk because they know that most of them have one family they abandoned somewhere or the other. They know the majority of them are deadbeat. We have very few responsible men out there. In fact, eh? 98% of men, may God help you people. Just imagine how this girl will be feeling. You have a father that was a celebrity, the whole world celebrated him, she did this, he did that. This girl will just be watching everything, knowing that 